Hey, what's going on guys? It's me, XP Master here, back from another Minecraft video. And today, guys, I will be discussing how to download the Bad Lion Client on Minecraft. Now, before we start, guys, be sure to hit that subscribe button, the like button, and the bell to never miss another video. And let's hop right into it. Alright guys, so this is the website you're going to go to, it's called badlion.net. This is basically where you're going to download the badlion client, It's gonna, sh and this is what you're going to use. So, you click here where it says client. Badlion client, okay, so now you can download it, here are all the downloads, you can join their discord, and all of this stuff. So, I'm on Mac, so I'm going to click this, allow, and it pops up the top. Bedline client, DMG, one second, there we go. You're going to double click it, and then this is alright, just like last time, there are no viruses. Agree. Opening Bedline client. Now, once it loads, it should say you have to drag it to your application folder, and then we should be good to go. Alright, so it popped up, now all you do is drag Bedline into applications, and there we go. So basically, when you open the launcher, this is going to pop up. You have to put in your email and password to sign into your Minecraft account, and then this is where you should be. Your avatar should be here, and you should be good. So here, where it says MC version, Minecraft version, you just click it. And then there's a lot of versions to choose from, so just choose whatever you'd like to use it for. I personally would use it on 1.8.9, which would be for Hypixel and whatever servers you use. You can use it for the latest version as well if you, if you want. It's your choice. So I'm going to choose 1.8.9. And then... You can choose whether you want Optifine enabled or not, Optifine Zoom, so that's going to be on for me. And then the rest of the settings you can pretty much leave alone. And then if you want to read about it, you can always just scroll down here, you can go to the website, and then, yeah. So yeah, if you want to click launch, and then we'll see what happens. Alright guys, so you should get to this page, and then this is basically what it's going to look like, alright? But just to clarify, if you don't get to this page, it's probably because you close the launcher. You have to keep the launcher opened. So I have it tabbed out on the bottom. So just you have to keep that launcher open the whole time. If you close it, it will close Minecraft. So you have to keep it open. Yeah, so basically this is the page, this is the launcher. So single player, multiplayer, cosmetics, all this stuff. You, can, you have a store, they have cosmetics. You can change your options. This is when I would put my texture pack on, the time DOs one. Done. And you can change your controls and whatever you want to do. And yeah, so what you're going to do is we're going to click multiplayer and we're going to try it out on Hypixel. All right, so we're in the Hypixel lobby and this is pretty much what it looks like. You can see it's kind of like the Lunar Client. You have the inventory in the bottom, the chat, the top, it says combo, CPS, 29 FPS, and the coordinates and effects and all things like that. So I'll show you guys about how that works. All right, so basically, you're going to click your right shift, the shift on the right on your, on your keyboard. So, hit this, or whatever the keybind is, you have to look at your settings. So this is the keybind for me, you click the right shift, and then this little slide page will pop up. So this is when you do, you can decide, like, what you want to keep on. So, for example, Auto GG, I have this on so that, for example, when I play a Bed Wars game and I win, it'll automatically write GG in the chat, you don't have to write it. So that's a cool feature. And then there are also things like CPS counter, like I showed you the top left. And the clear glass, so like if you're in the lobby of something, you can just look through the glass, it's completely clear. Coordinates, enchant glint, and all these, all these cool things. You can turn on whatever you want. When you go here at the top, it says enable GUI editing, all right? So this will change where the things are on your screen. So you click that, and here we are. You can have the durability of your armor, the coordinates, all the effects you have in the game, CPS counter, the FPS counter, your combo you get, and this could be the timer for your Bed Wars game. I have this here. So yeah. This is pretty much it. And now guys, I'm going to show you what Bad Lion looks like while you play it in a game. So let's see how it works in a round of bridges.
Alright guys, that's all for today's video. I hope you guys all enjoyed. Be sure to go and hit that subscribe button, the like button, and the bell to never miss another video. And we'll see you guys all next time. Bye!